guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. So in today's video, we are talking hyped up products that the entire world raves about that I regret buying. Yeah, obviously, as you guys know, different products work differently for different people. And I don't know if it was to do with my expectations, to do with my skin type, to do with my eye shape, what it was, but these products were so super ridiculously crazy raved on about on Instagram, on social media, on YouTube, just everywhere. And then I tried them and I was really like, ugh. Not a fan. <laughs> so if you want to learn about a few products that I really regret buying, then please keep on watching. Okay, first up, I've got a foundation and this is the YSL Fusion Ink Foundation. So I purchased this, I think the same week that it launched because all over Instagram and obviously, as you guys know, uh -huh, in Australia, things launch a little bit later than they do for you guys in the States. But the reviews for this were insane. It promised really lightweight, really beautiful looking skin, full coverage without, you know, thickness or heaviness, uh, amazing for oilier skin types. And then I tried it and oh my goodness. I would just like to say that this is the only foundation in my entire collection and girl, I got a lot of foundations that ages me. When I wear these, I quite literally look 20 years older. It just settles so deeply into any fine lines that I've got, into my pores. It creates full on texture over my skin. I remember um, I, I applied it in front of like quite bright lights and I was like, eh, you know, it's okay. Walked out into my dining room and I've got a big um, mirror over top of my dining room table and I looked at my skin and I was like, <gasps> like a natural light. I couldn't believe it. Like just textured like you would not. I look like the old witch. I don't know why the world raves on about this. I just, and it was over $90. Why? What? Next up, I've got another designer item and I can actually remember the exact name of the YouTubers that are to blame for me purchasing this. <laughs> I'm not going to drop names because obviously it works for them, but oh my gosh. So this is one of the Chanel Illusion de Ombre. Uh, it's basically like a cream eyeshadow. Chanel are quite well known for some of their formulas being amazing, but they're also quite well known for some of their formulas being horrendous. And so many YouTubers were raving on and on about this. And like, let me tell you, she is like, like pigmented like it's a beautiful beautiful cream eyeshadow you know it really melts into the skin when you apply it it looks beautiful on the eyes all of that jazz but girl let me tell you this is the most creasy cream eyeshadow that I have ever used. This gives me creases on my eyes that I didn't even know existed. It bunches up and then I end up with like a line across where my lid folds that's just completely void of any makeup. It like wipes off the primer underneath and I'm just left with like a bare like like a line. I'm so devastated because again this was so expensive and I remember buying it years ago and being like yes it's my first Chanel makeup product and everyone's raving on about it on the internet and then it was terrible. Next up is the Purity Face Wash by Philosophy and I'm so devastated that I hate this. I'm so devastated. So you know how the entire world raves on about this product and I'm only referring to this one in particular. You know, some of their other products are incredible, but for me, this is the One Step Facial Cleanser. Um, it's not like a particular scent or anything. It's just... It's the straight up one step facial cleanser. I was that excited to purchase this because again, everybody was raving on about it. I saw it all over Instagram. I saw it all over YouTube. Everyone was like, this is the best cleanser ever and it melts your makeup off and use it with your Clarisonic. You're gonna love it. Not only did this sting the crap out of my eyes, but it gives me acne like you wouldn't believe, like pustules, like huge, angry, red, irritated, angry pustule acne. It's been renamed in my household as the One Step Acne Cleanser. <laughs> Brandon had the exact same reaction to it. He couldn't use it either. Um, I don't know. Did I get a bad batch? I purchased this from Ulta um, in West Hollywood. And even though my luggage weight was already over, I didn't care because I had the large size of the Philosophy Cleanser and I was like, yes, killing it. No. If this ever happens to you and you've got a cleanser that you can't use, use it to wash your makeup brushes. It works pretty good for that moisturizes them too. <laughs> Next up, I've got the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I know that there is a cult following for this mascara. And I know that there are going to be people out there who are like, what's wrong with you, girl? You're clearly using it wrong. How can you hate it? I just, I just don't like it. It does not work for me. Every time I use it, well, actually, you know what? Let's start out with the brush. For me, I've got small almond eyes. You know, I don't have huge, big Bambi eyes. And I'm okay with that. For a mascara wand to be that big near my eyes, 
that's that's the first thing that I don't like about it but the second thing is this smudges like a holy mother on my skin so I will apply this and 20 minutes later I have got you know a big sort of dark smudge underneath my eyes it looks like I've been punched in the face it transfers it rubs on my skin and it transfers like you wouldn't believe now obviously you guys know that I do have quite an oily skin type um, perhaps that's why I can't get it to work for me I'm pretty sure this is actually the most popular uh, mascara in the world I'm pretty sure it is but Oh, unfortunately, it just doesn't work for me. And then finally, and I feel like this one's going to be the biggest shocker of them all. Don't hate me for this, okay? Promise we'll still be friends after I show this product. You have to promise. Promise! The Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. I know, I know. Again, this is quite literally one of the most popular eyeshadow palettes in the world. The colors are beautiful, um, the formulas, I mean, the formula's quite powdery, you, have to be, you do have to be quite gentle with this one. I just never, ever, ever reach for it. It was such a waste of money, I did not need to purchase this palette. Um, obviously, I'm a makeup artist, as you guys know, and I'm a sucker for warm eyeshadow, so I was like, yes, I need this so bad. Major regret, I definitely regret buying this one. That was a waste of money. So that's it for the video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Five of the most hyped up makeup products that I just... I don't know why I bought them. I mean, I do know why I bought them. I bought them because of the hype. You can't say that you've never been victim to the hype. It's me. It's actually me every time Kylie Cosmetics launches something. And I'm like, oh my God. And then I buy it and I get it. And I'm like, Nikia, why? Put your money on your mortgage, sweetheart. But please let me know if you enjoyed this style of video. I've obviously got a lot more products where these came from because I'm kind of a bit of a shopaholic when it comes to makeup. And also let me know some purchases that you've made where you've been a sucker for the hype and then you've received them and you've been like, oh, girl, that was a mistake. <laughs> so yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye!